Well, losing a family pet is difficult, especially in the winter. A couple who just moved to the area from Minneapolis experienced that heart-wrenching pain for three days earlier this month. News 19's Joe Minnie shares their story and some advice if it happens to you. Brandon and Maya's dog Dolores went missing in the early part of December near Holman. 10.30 a.m. she took off uh, towards the neighbor's house, which is not uncommon as of late. And then by the time I put our little dog away and went looking for her, she was nowhere to be found. Toma's Chasing Daylight shelter manager Tiffany Higginbotham says looking right away is the best course of action. Act fast, don't wait. The longer you wait, the less chances of an immediate kind of coming home. Um, contact the local police, sheriff's department, all the local animal shelters, vet offices. After an extensive search over the next 24 hours, Maya and Brandon tried to network their search, but they were new to the area. We were trying to get the word out there, but we didn't really know how to because we don't know anybody. Tiffany says you can't use social media enough. Blast them over social media, um, platforms, different groups. You can share from page to page. I know on Facebook there's um, Lost Dogs of Wisconsin, Lost Cats of Wisconsin, and and then usually like Toma itself has like Toma lost and found pets or Monroe County lost and found pet. Maya finally did get linked to Lost Dogs of Wisconsin. Between my original post getting shared and then the Lost Dogs of Wisconsin creating their own and getting that shared, we had I think over a thousand shares within just a couple hours. A neighbor eventually found Dolores and called the family phone number on the collar. Having your animal microchipped always helps. That way if they do have like a GPS collar that gets taken off or isn't working, you have the microchip to help as well. And having up-to-date pictures, that's a great help too. Maya and Brandon have learned their lesson. Dolores has two GPS type collars on and they're still leery about letting her run free. Can she find her way back? Who knows? <laughs> You'd like to think so, but you never know. For WXOW News 19, I'm Joe Minnie. And if you're wondering what breed she is, she's a, she's a German wired haired pointer. Now, chasing daylight in Toma also says lost pets tend to roam during the night when they feel it's safer. Placing high value food treats, the bed they sleep on, or pieces of clothing of the person with whom they bonded uh, will help provide a scent to guide them home.